What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more J-Drama score, and we're going to go back to the score from the show Crisis. Uh, this is 2017, I think. I thought it was 2016, and then I remember there was one video uh, where I came to realize it's actually 2017. Uh, it doesn't say it here, but again, this is a show, it's sort of like, it mixes political intrigue, um, it's sort of like a, you know, special security team, I mean, literally the subtitle is Special Security Squad, um, you know, they do sort of dirty jobs uh, for the government that the government can't, like, disclose publicly. As I've mentioned before, as the show goes along, they realize they're being sort of used to, like, you know, erase the injustices um, that have been committed by high-level figures. They're essentially, like, cleaning up other people's dirty messes, so it gets sort of, like, increasingly complicated in terms of, you know, the way they see what they're being used to do. Uh, but yeah, we're going to listen to a tune uh, from the soundtrack. I mentioned before this soundtrack it's done by two different people. The first seven tunes are done by a very prominent um, composer, uh, Sawano Hiroyuki. Uh, we've reacted to several of those. There's one more that I really want to do, uh, but we'll come back for that one. Um, the second two-thirds, or the second and third third um, of the soundtrack are done by uh, Kota Yamamoto, or Yamamoto Kota. Uh, and that's one of the tunes that uh, he did, we're going to listen to now, uh, and it's called Undone. Um, it's a sh pretty short tune, it's just over three minutes, um, but there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of like frenetic uh, pace to it. It has this sort of, um, you know, big important things are happening and people are having to move and scramble to react to them and deal with them, which, you know, it's sort of part and parcel to what the show is all about. So let's get it from the uh, show uh, Crisis and the soundtrack from 2017. Um, this is a piece by Yamamoto Kota, and it's called Undone. <laughs>
energetic percussion, um, a guitar track was all over the place uh, and fantastic the whole time. I really do enjoy it. That one I mentioned before, the Sono no Hiroyuki tunes in this soundtrack, there's, again, there's only seven of them, and like three or four of them, they use like themes um, across multiple tracks. So like, um, it's kind of like his tracks are sort of like a suite and they, they have motifs that are in like multiple um, parts of uh, the soundtrack, whereas the part of the soundtrack from Yamamoto Kota, number one, I think it's used a bit like more situationally, like whereas a lot of the tracks from Seven of Hiroyuki come back at like really prominent moments in the episode, like or in the show, like episode to episode, um, because I feel like those are a little more familiar. This one, however, uh, despite being one of the tunes from uh, Yamamoto Kota, um, I actually feel like I remember some of the scenes where this plays. As you might not be surprised to find, I think it's like some of the action-based scenes where they're like arriving on a scene and they gotta like, you know, infiltrate a building or they gotta like, you know, deal with like a paramilitary group that's like using weapons or whatever. And there's like, you know, shit's going down, basically. Um, so yeah, it's a, like I said, I love this show. It's a really great show. And the more I listen to the soundtrack, it's like, man, obviously a big part of that is how great this sound is or how great the music is. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of that one. Shout out to Yamamoto Kota. I will see you next time. Peace.